What's good, my people? We are back again for another one on this year, Mr. Lick's YouTube channel. And guys, we're going to be talking about the Anupali session, for which a number of persons have been sending me. And of course, this is another reaction vibrations, for which this channel is not. But of course, we're going to be incorporating that as well. The main gist of this channel, of course, is to do interviews and stuff with different people who are not seen in society as the best of society. But we're going to be trying to do a number of things, guys. Definitely subscribe so we can reach a thousand. And in reaching a thousand, I believe we'll be able to start doing this whole interview vibrations right there of course you'll have to contribute and everything you know you know that i'm whole vibrations as time goes by to help out the needy help out those who are you know but guys we're gonna be talking about the anupali vibrations of the prime minister and what he had to say in this regard right there and then guys so let us take a listen and we're gonna dissect it guys we're gonna break it down bit by bit to understand the whole gist of what the prime minister had to say right there guys so we have a, to do. It's a serious. Uh, we have to have a cultural shift hmm. uh, in this. I mean, in my case, as prime minister of the country, I mean, thirty-two thousand in in any currency is a lot of money. I, I you think? Uh, no, guys. Let us go back. Let let us let us let us start from the starting. We right? have so, to do. It's a serious. Uh, we have to have a cultural shift. The prime minister mentioned cultural shift. Now, what exactly does cultural shift mean, and to whom does the cultural shift? belong to so to speak or to which direction does the cultural shift have to happen for who does it benefit is it a beneficial of the whole um entire community of the cultural aspect of people involved in that culture or is a set or is it a segment that he's talking about when it comes down to the cultural shift where these individuals benefit and the others have to get their own cultural shift as well now the prime minister also mentioned something about uh, thirty-two thousand dollars right there of course a number of persons we tend to know what that means and of course it's renting a business not business but renting a mansion in mount daniel for thirty-two thousand dollars minimum but we're gonna see what he has to see right there uh, in this i mean even in my case as prime minister of the country i mean thirty-two thousand in, in any currency is a lot of money I, i'll be the first to admit it definitely uh, especially not just in a, a country you know or in any currency but in whose country is $32,000? Is it a striving economy, economy or is it a country that is going down the drain according to Central Bank and to a number of the business Caribbean inside which stated that Dominica's economy is going down? So what are we doing with the $32,000 that is headed towards the Prime Minister renting a mansion for him to live in? No, guys, I heard a while ago, Ian was talking about the Prime Minister and saying, oh, he really needs this and all these kind of things here. No, guys, don't get me wrong when I say this. When it comes down to a striving economy where you have money to do things, then obviously doing things like this, of course, make him build two, three houses as long as the people are benefiting. Because the whole gist of a Prime Minister being in an establishment is for the people. And apparently he mentioned cultural shift, which, for instance, it is him who is going to be getting the cultural shift when it comes down to the other people I mean, look at what happened during um, the whole pandemic situation where individuals were not getting monies, were not getting things. A few, well, I'll say a few got a little bit of money here and there and a few got some packages. But when it comes down to the diversification of all the people for a cultural shift, it seems like the person who's getting the most, the best benefit, the best benefit out of all of this is the one at the top who is the prime minister who's supposed to be doing things for the people. And that, my friends, is a problem. Anyways, this is what I have to see right there. Um, but one gets a sense that there is a feeling that, you know, maybe the, the, the Prime Minister should be staying in some banana um, shed. <laughs> boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Guys, give me one person in this globe or knows the Prime Minister who is thinking that, hey, the Prime Minister should be staying in a banana shed. Now, for example, of reality, we know that the Prime Minister has a house. Not about, um, let me take that back. He has a mansion in Vicars. And this is the mansion right there, guys. This is the mansion right there, guys. Let me close this thing right there. This is the mansion that the Prime Minister is stating. And, of course, there were a number of children that were actually coming into this thing to swim in the swimming pool. This is, of course, after Hurricane Maria. I went up to Vicars to do an aerial shot. You can actually check out the aerial shot. Of that Hurricane Maria Vicas um, or Dominica Vicas, whatever you will get this video on Ariel Dominica, guys. But this is the Prime Minister's mansion right there. Now, let me show you what a normal house, a normal big house in Vicas looks like. This is it right there. It's not the best of quality, guys, but this, as I was flying over, this is the biggest house 
I saw in Vikas. All the others are pretty much little, just like the ones you've seen on top there. Those little houses up there. But this is definitely the Prime Minister's house right there. And the Prime Minister is talking about staying in some kind of banana shed or something. No, bro. According to one of the individuals, if Rosie Douglas was coming down Portsmouth every time, what excuse do you have to then build a mansion? And Matthew, guys, this is not just saying a mansion, you know. Let me go out to the video. You have to do. It's a serious... This is not just saying, oh, it's a mansion, you know, guys. I remember some time back, the Prime Minister, well, the colleagues of the Prime Minister were saying that they need to build a house for the Prime Minister or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he was saying, no, how can he build, um, uh, how can he be building a house for himself when the people of Dominica are suffering? He stated these things, man. He stated these things. How can he build a house when the people of Dominica are suffering? Next thing you're hearing, that the Prime Minister has built a mansion. <laughs> Boy, hey. And you might say it's not exactly the Prime Minister that built it. Okay, fine. But he'll be staying in a mansion, Marquesa. Not only that, guys, but $32,000 will be put, to, put towards the Prime Minister. Mark you, the very house that is built here is built under Melissa Skerritt's father. Of course, they traded the land for $6, of which I, that was not the value of the land. It's $20, and they tried to evade all kind of something that people will see. But the whole point of the matter here is they build this house, a mansion, and they are now paying $32,000 for the house what benefit does that give to the people when it comes down to a cultural shift which what this is why i mentioned earlier where do we or who to or to whom are we talking about the cultural shift be being belong to where does the cultural shift or who does the cultural shift belong to it's clear as they like to see who's benefiting based of this cultural shift for which the prime minister mentioned it seems like people believe that he should be staying in a banana shed and you have a mansion already in vacas that you have been staying in you moved to mondan no mark you he stayed in the state house for a year now guys correct me if i'm wrong there's a big building in Roseau called the state house the white house whatever you want to call it a big building for which a president also stays inside it so you mean to tell me that in that large building facility there's no more space for you you have to then decide you're going to build a mansion or whoever's going to be a, build a mansion for you then the citizens in a dying economy has to then contribute thirty two thousand dollars in addition to a thirty two three hundred dollars for maintenance that is equated to about sixty four thousand three hundred dollars per month Mark you, and he's talking about top boy, and he's talking about banana shed as if people believe he should be staying in a banana shed, which is it is mind boggling for me to understand or fathom what kind of cultural shift that the prime minister is referring to because I cannot understand it. Maybe you guys can help me understand it right there. Who is benefiting from the cultural shift and to which direction are they benefiting? Is it a positive way or is it a negative way? In which the cultural shift of the mind frame of people need to be developed. Now guys, like I said before, if the Prime Minister has to get a house and whatever, blah, 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 that's great. But in the times of the economy that we're living in right now, where things are not doing well, the economy itself is not doing well. Matter of fact, according to Central Bank, I said it that earlier on in the previous videos on my vlogs, on my normal vlogs, guys. The Central Bank stated that Dominica is the fastest declining economy in the OECS, the fast the decline in economy, which means the GDP factor for profit has diminished. And yes, COVID has some aspect to play in it, but that is not the factor for which we have been coming to this predicament today. This has been a long run coming, man. A long run coming, man. When it comes down to the economy and the benefit of the economy, things that used to happen back then, agriculture was doing its thing. Tourism wasn't the best, but it was doing its thing as well. Now, everything every year seems to be depleting, right? And when it comes down to the sustenance of the people now during a pandemic, they then decide to give man loans. Not just loans, you know, guys, but loans at low interest, which is good. If an economy is doing wonderful, you provide these things to provide something going forward. But people have no way of seeing how they can move forward or how they can go back or not. People have no way of understanding how they can make the shift forward. I listened to Ian Douglas talking about the, the vibes in Portsmouth, man. And I'm trying to figure out which vibe is he talking about. Which youth has developed in Portsmouth? They mentioned some person using technology or whatever. I'm not saying that this is not happening. I'm just saying when it comes down to the majority of folks in Portsmouth, 
What is the development factor for the individuals in Portsmouth, the youth in Portsmouth, man? What is the whole gist of the elevation for Dominica itself when in fact that the economy is the fastest declining economy <laughs> in the Caribbean? St. Vincent and the Grenadines, guys. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is one of the growing economies even despite the COVID situation. And Dominica has projected Matthew to go down. And the Prime Minister is talking about a cultural shift for in a time <laughs> for then the citizens. So that means less money will be going towards the citizens and more money will be going towards him and his elevation in his own aspect of cultural shift. What is the, what is the normal person's cultural shift towards progression, guys? What is it? Because I don't know, that's why I'm asking these questions. The Prime Minister is talking about cultural shift and talking about banana leaf. When he actually has a man, nobody thinking of you going to stay. Father, you are staying in the White House in Roseau for a year and something. Ian or one of them was saying um, um, he was staying in, in, in where? In a conference room and his family. What? So he means to tell me it's one bedroom house. <laughs> that big building have. And let's say, okay, fine. You decide, okay, you're staying in conference room and everything. But a mansion, Magwesa, a mansion? Huh? I heard another individual talking about, oh, when the Prime Minister has to facilitate individuals from overseas. So what happened? They kind of go to the White House. So what the White House is there for? Good looks? Huh? When the Prime Minister in America has all his meetings and stuff, in the White House they go, you know. When foreign ministers come in, in the White House they go in. So why do foreign ministers then have to go to another establishment for them to facilitate these ministers to make it seem like you are doing well. Your, your, your internal must, must, must um, reflect your external. If the economy is doing good, it must reflect that as well. If the economy is not doing well, use the White House, use the State House. That is what the State House is for. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. They're talking about um, facilitating other people to bring them inside the mansion. Really, my guy? <laughs> Boy, hey. Um, but one gets a sense that there is a feeling that you know. <laughs> Boy, maybe the, the the prime minister should be staying in some banana um, shed. Banana, not banana house, you know, banana shed, and he have a actual mansion in Vicars. Why doesn't he reference? You see, it's a psychological thing. Why doesn't he reference the actual mansion that he has in Vicars? Furthermore, you also live in Mont Daniel as well. So what happened to what ha boy, boy. <laughs> So what happened to the present situation of you living in Mont Daniel? You then have to go and decide to build a mansion for then the citizens to have to contribute sixty-four thousand plus dollars per month to your living conditions, man. Am I the slow one here? I'm, I think sometimes I might be so slow that everybody moves faster than me and it's me that I have to catch up to the people because I cannot understand now on. I cannot. Or something. I, I may mean, talk about all the premise as a, as a person cooking meals for him and so on. If so what's your wife there for? Huh? What? You busy. Huh? You busy you're doing things in the place and so forth and so forth. What Melissa self doing? Mm. Melissa is a, um, um, a, what do you call her? A parliamentary representative. What kind of representative? Hey, 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 hey. So they're talking about cooking and thing and whatever. That's good. That is what happened in the state of my brother. Go back in the state of you stay there for a whole year. You stay there for a whole year. You have your, your house already. I understand the whole predicament. State house. You will live in, in the state house. Say, okay, you busy or whatever. You have to stay there. The state house is not your home. You have your home in Vegas, my brother. Go back Vegas if you have to go back Vegas. That's where you live in. No, you decide you live in your mansion in Vegas. <laughs> to come to the White House and stay. No, you build in another mansion. And saying it's people that build it on your wife's fathers that transfer it to you. And you're talking about cooking and this kind of things. Yo, <laughs> I, I, I have to say, I have to say so much on that. Eh? But hey, we leave that there. <laughs> on all these things. So, so it's really unfortunate that 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 does it. That's the kind of attitude we have in the country, like. But Mr. Prime Minister, the reason why there's an attitude is because people are seeing your benefit only and not theirs. What benefit is there for the people, man? Guys, tell me. What benefit is there for your children in the future? I always mention that. What benefit is there? Mm? 
<laughs> I want to know what benefit is there for the people. But however, we see the benefit for you. You mentioned a while back that you can send your children out and fly on all those kind of things there, which of course is not for everybody in Dominica because they cannot just send the children out or fly the children out if there's a medical emergency. There's nothing like that. But it seems like everything or every benefit is coming down to the Prime Minister. It is coming to him. Where is the benefit for the people for which the people have elected you to represent them? And it seems like it is your benefit, $64,000 a month. To live in a mansion that could be his own. <laughs> Boy. We have to change this. Otherwise, we will, we will never be able to get to the point where we need to get to the country. My brother, you're talking about a benefit of the country. Your whole aspect of saying this whole thing is to have a cultural shift. The cultural shift is supposed to benefit the economy of Dominica for which people will then elevate themselves. But apparently based off that whole thing that you just said there, that is only to your benefit, man. People always have the ideology of saying, oh, you're not supposed to be in this and that, this and that. But the reason why people put you there is not for you. It is for them. And when the people are elevating, then you can do for yourself because the whole economy will be elevating. But nothing like that is happening in Dominica. It's on a decline, my brother. And you want yourself to benefit in this cultural shift that going to your positive and then to the people own, it going negative because the people have to then pay you more money, which means that less will be coming to the people and more going to you and your comfort zone. I don't understand how people doesn't see those things there. I don't understand, brothers and sisters. We have people um, who work hard, like yourselves, um, and you have put in <laughs> your, all your parents and your family um, 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 properties to, to create jobs. And Okay, he, he, that is a nice way that he put it. He look at the others and say, hey, you're doing this and that. But it, she not getting the benefit of the money of the people, you know, going towards her house. It is you that's going to get the benefit of the six. She not can't get not one dime from the $64,000 unless she's a cook. In your establishment, in the in the mansion, she's not going to get one dime. The lady work hard, not a dime from anybody, for her to be doing those things that she has to be doing. These people work hard for their stuff. You want to get sixty-four thousand dollars in addition to your own salary. <laughs> These people don't get no money in addition to their salaries. No, it is you that want to get an additional thirty-two plus thirty-two three hundred for maintenance and the house rent, Marquisa. And then he points into people. <sighs> and, and you're seeing the returns on this investment and you're not, you're not making it and so on. So we really have to change this. We have, we have to change what? We don't have to change nothing, my brother. You have to change the economical impact on society and socioeconomic impact as well because the people need to live. But it's, just, it's like people are just surviving while you are enjoying the comfort of you being a prime minister and then understand that the people have to pay for everything that you do. You're already getting that done. You're already getting that done. The Prime Minister doesn't have to pay anything from his thing. No, you want to put 64,300 in addition to what you're getting already? And you think that is cool as a cultural shift in a positive direction for the country? It is not you that is the country, the people is the country. So if the people are over there and you there and you benefiting, the people not benefiting, they are losing jobs, all kind of things, less money is coming to the bank accounts, all these kind of things is taking place. Then how does this cultural shift affect everybody that it will, boy, will move in a positive direction? <laughs> boy, I tell you, boy. Let me see this video. What is with this? Oh, okay. And not because I is a labor right, I can support everything all you do. When all you do in the rubbish, I say no, you do in the rubbish. Oh, no, not this one. Let me see this one. So, boss man, so people can't talk in the country then. Huh? You want to rent a house? $32,000. <laughs> The overall expense is $64,000. That's $64,300. Mark you. For agree to protest, police don't block in the road, and the sign of traffic, all because of you, my boy. You always, you always want to be in a talk. <laughs> uh, you always in a talk. In that hard cover season, you're going to rent a house. $64,000 a month, my brother. And you don't want people to talk. And before people say they can protest, you're blocking the road. But that is what they have to do in a dictatorship. That is the kind of sense that people have to do. When people realize what is going on and they say, no, that should not happen. They are then trying to prevent that from happening so it can continue. That is why I mentioned some time back in the previous um, other channel about kings. 
the, the people at the bottom, the subjects at the bottom are pretty much feeding the king on top. The people are pretty much giving the prime minister money for him to do whatever he wants. When the people try to protest, there's a force that is keeping them down so that he can maintain his kingdom. You see how it works, guys? The king to the subjects, the prime minister to the people. <laughs> he also, yeah, let's go back to the other one right there. All you doing good, I say all you doing good. And at $64,000, that is a strain now. You check, go vacas and live in your mansion for Obviously. the Obviously. Go vacas. The road good, go up and down. Who's it all us doing it? Exactly. You can do it too. That $64,000 is a strain on taxpayers' back. You understand? I don't want to say, everybody knows a poor toll labor, right? But when all you doing rubbish, I say all you doing rubbish. Well, doing rubbish is one thing, but when you willfully doing something, knowing to manipulate the very system, that is not rubbish. That is thievery right there. Guys, what are your thoughts on the whole situation involving this whole predicament right there, guys? What are your thoughts, man? Leave that, of course, in the comment box below. Guys, definitely don't forget to subscribe for more videos and reactions like this, as well as the upcoming um, venture that I want to do on this year's channel.